Why, good Monday morning. This is the Lord Light's devotional. Thank you so much for allowing us to take a few minutes of your time today. Hopefully we might be a blessing or a help to you in some way. You know, I have trouble with pronunciation sometimes. I don't know whether it's the West Virginia in me or I don't know whether I'm just ill-educated or maybe just kind of a little bit uh, tongue-tied. I don't know what it is, but there are some things I have difficulty in getting out. Now, I know sometimes when I'm preparing my message, I want to use a particular word, and I very carefully study the pronunciation, and I try to put it in my notes, you know, to just kind of spell it out like it sounds, and yet there's so many times I stumble over a word that I have trouble pronouncing. There's some passages of Scripture that I'd love to preach from, but if I have to read that and pronounce all those hard names, why... Well, I'm going to probably have to kind of either uh, shorten the scripture reading or uh, go a different direction. I have trouble sometimes saying certain words. Well, you know, they say the three hardest words in the English language to pronounce, and maybe you have trouble with these words. Those are the words, I was wrong. Maybe the three most difficult, or the three uh, second most difficult, or please forgive me. And you know, there have been times that I've had to say I was wrong. There have been times I've had to say, please forgive me. And I never want to get too proud, nor too stubborn, nor too set in my own will to where I am unwilling to say I was wrong, or please forgive me, or all six words. Sometimes you need to put those six words together, I was wrong. Please forgive me. Now, I think if we've offended someone, whether it's intentional or unintentional, well, we ought to let them know that we are sorry, and we ought to be willing to say, I was wrong in my choice of words, or I was wrong in blurting out what I did. Please forgive me. I don't want to go to, uh, down to the end of life feeling like that uh, somebody has been offended by me in some way. Now, as a pastor, there are uh, times when people leave the church, times when people stay away from the church. And uh, I realize that uh, our church isn't for everyone. I realize that uh, not everybody's going to love this old fat preacher. And so I sometimes realize that they have a legitimate reason to go. But if somebody leaves, I always want to get in contact with them as soon as possible and say, have I offended you in some way? Have I hurt you in some way? And, uh, you know, I don't want any failure on my part for the reason that people leave my church. I don't want any failure on my part for losing a friendship. So if I've offended somebody, I want to be able to say I was wrong. Please forgive me. If I've held resentment or jealousy in my heart, now you say, well, there's nothing wrong with feeling resentment. It's just natural sometimes to feel resentment or to be jealous. But you know, you cannot feel resentment, you cannot harbor jealousy in your heart without it affecting your relationship with that person. If you resent that person, if you're jealous of them or something they have, it's going to affect your relationship. And I think that there are times that we ought to say, you know, I've felt a little resentful. You got a promotion and I didn't. You make more money than I do. Uh, you drive a better car. I kind of resent these things. Well, God brings us down to one level. If we'll say, I don't want any uh, spirit of resentment, I don't want to harbor any jealousy, I was wrong and I want you to forgive me. I want to be able to say, I was wrong. Please forgive me. If not only I have offended someone or if I have harbored jealousy or resentment in my heart, but I want to say I was wrong, please forgive me. If I've even intentionally taken advantage of anybody in any way. Sometimes the temptation is great. The temptation is there. And the opportunity is there to take advantage of someone. And there have been times that I have done that. And I've felt the weight of guilt. And I've had to say, I'm sorry. I took advantage of you. Please forgive me. So you know there are these three words. I was wrong. You ought to be able to pronounce those if you need to. Please forgive me. It can make such a difference 
in our relationship with others. And remember, our relationship with others affects our relationship with God. Lord, may we never be too proud. May we never be too stubborn to pronounce those hardest words that are to pronounce, I was wrong, please forgive me. The Lord bless us throughout this day and this coming week. Help us to love and to serve thee and to be a blessing to others. In Christ's name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that, and I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Light's Devotional. Goodbye now.